Welcome to this video of Calc Tips. How to get monthly totals and getting a month number from a month name. So you have a sheet of sales data for the year and you want to get monthly totals out of it. If you use two columns for containing the first day of the month in one and the last day of the month in the other, it's really quite easy. First, I'll select these columns for the dates and format them for date. In the first column, I'll put the starting date for the data, 1 slash 1, then enter. In the next column, I'll use the end of month function to get the last day of the month. So I'll type equals EO month, enter. Then click on cell E2, comma, then a zero to get the end of the current month. Press Enter. Now on the next row in column E, I'll type equals and click cell F2, then plus one to get the next day after the end of the month. Press Enter. Now I click on F2 and drag the fill handle down to the next row to get the end of the month for the next row. Now I select both cells of the second row and drag the fill handle down to get all the rows I need. I'm only going to go up to April for the example. I'll select column G and format it for currency. In cell G2, I'll use the sum ifs function to get the totals. I'll type equals sum ifs, then enter. First parameter is the sum range, which are the amounts we want to add up. So I click in C2, drag down the column to select it. I'll hold down shift and press F4 to lock it in place then a comma to get to the next parameter, which is range 1. This will be the date column. So I click B2 and drag down the column to select all the dates. Hold down Shift and press F4 to lock it, then a comma. Next parameter is the criteria. I'll type a quote, then the greater than sign, followed by an equal sign, then another quote. I'll type an ampersand to join it to the first day of the month. Click E2. So I'm saying more than or equal to the first day of the month referenced in E2. Now a comma for the next parameter, which is range 2. This will be the date column again. Click B2 and drag to select all the dates, hold Shift, and press F4 to lock it. Then a comma, and the last parameter is criteria 2. I'll type a quote, then the less than sign, followed by an equal sign, another quote, followed by an ampersand, to join it to the end of the month date, click F2 and press Enter. Now select the cell and drag the fill handle down to get your monthly totals. So the formula is saying give me the total if the date is more than or equal to the first day of the month and less than or equal to the last day of the month. A much neater way to configure the monthly totals would be to have the year then below the months of the year using only one column. To make this work, the date value function is used to take a month name and turn it into a date that calc can read. Basically, the date value function takes text, which is formatted as a valid date, and transforms it from text to a date value. January 1st, 2016 is an example of a valid date. So, to start, in E1 I've got the year. In E2 I'll type January, 
press enter. Then click in E2 again and drag the fill handle down to get the months I need. For this example I only need the months up to April. I've already formatted column F for currency. In F2 I'm going to use the sum ifs function again to get the totals. So I'll type equals sum ifs press enter. First parameter is the sum range. Click C2 and drag to select all the amounts. Hold shift and press F4 to lock the selection. Then a comma. Next parameter is range 1. This will be the dates. So I'll click B2 and drag down to get all the dates. Hold down shift Press F4 to lock it. Comma. Now the criteria for range. I'll type a quote, the greater than sign, followed by an equal sign, then a quote, and an ampersand. Now type date value, then enter. Now I click E2 with the word January, use an ampersand to join it to the following text. Type quote, a space, then a one, a comma, then another space. Now end the text with another quote. Now I'll use an ampersand to join it to the year. Click E1, Hold Shift and press F4 to lock the reference to the year. This creates the text January 1, 2016, which the date value function will turn into a value that Calc can use. Now click after the date value parentheses and type a comma to get to the next parameter of the sum ifs function, which is range 2. This is once more the date column. So I click in B2 and drag down the date column to select all the dates, hold shift, press F4. Now a comma and the last parameter, criteria 2. I'll start with a quote, the less than sign, an equal sign, then another quote type an ampersand to join it. Here I'm going to use the date value function inside the end of month function. So I type EO month, press enter, type date value, press enter. This will be exactly the same as before. Click the month name E2 then an ampersand, followed by a quote, then a space, one, a comma, another space, then a quote. Use an ampersand to join it to the year. Click E1. Now hold down shift and press F4 to lock the reference to the year. Click after the date value parentheses, type a comma to get to the next parameter of the end of month function, then a zero to get the end of the current month date, press enter, and there you have it. Click in F2 and drag the fill handle down to get the totals for the rest of the months you need. Date value is a very useful function. Thanks for watching this Calc Tips video. Please comment or send any questions or suggestions for more videos. Thanks for watching.